Welcome to our channel, today, we're going to summarize, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck chapters 19 through 26. Chapter 19, The Road to California, Tom reunites with his family and shares the news of Casey's death. The Jodes, now fully committed to the cause, decide to carry on the fight and honor Casey's memory by joining the larger movement of migrant workers in California. They embark on a journey that goes beyond their individual struggle for survival and becomes a quest for dignity and equality for all. The chapter sets the stage for the final act of the novel, where the Jodes and their fellow migrants will face the forces of oppression head-on. Chapter 20, The Promised Land, The Jodes Arrive in California, the promised land they had dreamed of throughout their arduous journey. However, their initial hopes are quickly shattered as they face hostility and exploitation. They encounter labor contractors who take advantage of their desperation, offering meager wages and substandard living conditions. The chapter portrays the stark contrast between the lush landscapes and the harsh reality of life for the migrants. The Jodes realize that their fight for justice and dignity is far from over and that they must confront the oppressive systems that perpetuate their suffering. Chapter 21, The Hooverville, The Jodes find temporary refuge in a Hooverville, a makeshift camp named after President Hoover who many blame for the economic crisis. The camp is crowded with other families facing similar struggles. Poverty and disease run rampant, and the lack of basic necessities compounds their misery. Despite the dire conditions, the migrants form a sense of community and camaraderie, supporting one another through their shared hardships. The chapter emphasizes the resilience and humanity of the migrant workers as they find strength in their unity. Chapter 22, The Farming Camp, the Jodes manage to secure work on a large farming operation, but they soon discover that their labor is undervalued and their rights are disregarded. The owners manipulate wages and working hours, leaving the workers perpetually impoverished. Ma Jode becomes increasingly defiant, refusing to accept their mistreatment and urging her family and fellow workers to stand up for their rights. Tom, inspired by his mother's courage, becomes more involved in the collective struggle, realizing that true change can only be achieved through solidarity and resistance. Chapter 23, The Flood, a devastating flood strikes the region, destroying the crops and leaving the migrants even more vulnerable. The Jodes and others are forced to seek refuge on higher ground, witnessing the destruction of their hopes for stability and prosperity. The chapter underscores the relentless nature of the forces that oppress the migrants, as they face one hardship after another. Amidst the chaos, the spirit of resilience and determination among the Jodes and their fellow workers remains unbroken. Chapter 24, The Camps on the Riverbank Revisited, the Jodes return to the camps on the riverbank, encountering familiar faces and finding some solace in the shared struggle. The conditions have deteriorated further, with scarce resources and increased desperation. The chapter highlights the dehumanization of the migrants, as they are treated as disposable labor and subjected to unjust treatment by both the authorities and the landowners. Tom and the Jodes become even more committed to fighting against this oppression, as they witness firsthand the devastating consequences of a system that values profit over human life. Chapter 25, The Final Stand, as the novel reaches its climax, Tom becomes increasingly involved in organizing the workers and advocating for their rights. He realizes that the struggle extends beyond individual farms and camps and that a larger movement is needed to challenge the systemic injustices. The Jodes, along with other migrant families, participate in a strike that aims to bring attention to their plight and demand fair treatment. The chapter portrays the bravery and determination of the migrants as they risk their livelihoods and safety in pursuit of a more just society. Chapter 26, The Journey Continues, after the strike fails to achieve immediate change, the Jodes are once again on the move, continuing their journey in search of work and stability. They recognize that the fight for justice is a long and arduous one, and they are prepared to face whatever challenges lie ahead. The chapter showcases their unwavering resilience and their refusal to be silenced or defeated. The novel concludes with a sense of both hope and uncertainty, as the Jodes and their fellow migrants carry the torch of resistance forward, knowing that their struggle is part of a larger movement for social change. Despite the uncertainty of their future, the Jodes are fueled by their commitment to justice and their determination to create a better world for themselves and future generations. Throughout their journey, the Jodes have undergone profound transformations. They have witnessed the depths of human suffering and experienced the power of solidarity and collective action. 
They have confronted their own prejudices and learned to see the humanity in their fellow migrants, transcending barriers of race and class. The Grapes of Wrath, at its core, is a powerful critique of the capitalist system and a call for social justice. John Steinbeck's masterpiece captures the resilience, the hopes, and the hardships of the migrant workers during the Great Depression. It portrays the devastating impact of poverty and inequality on individuals and families, while also highlighting the strength that can be found in community, compassion, and the fight for a more equitable society. The Jode's journey is a metaphorical representation of the collective struggle of all marginalized and oppressed groups, calling for solidarity and empathy in the face of adversity. As the novel concludes, the fate of the Jodes remains uncertain. However, their spirit of resilience and their commitment to justice linger in the hearts of readers. The Grapes of Wrath serves as a reminder that the fight for social justice is an ongoing battle, one that requires empathy, perseverance, and a collective effort to dismantle oppressive systems. It urges us to reflect on our own roles in creating a more just and compassionate society, and to never lose sight of the humanity and dignity of every individual, regardless of their social or economic status. Thanks for watching. To read the full version of the book, click on the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar content.